Aloha, YouTubers. California Drifter, Jay Barrick, Sandy Sage with you here in Torrance, California to give you today a tour of my Vanagon, the 1987 VW Westphalia Vanagon that I purchased last year that I will soon be calling home. I want to show you around my rig so you can see, uh, see what life is like living in a van. Now let's get started by letting me give you a little bit of a scenario of what my life is all about. Let's uh, first uh, step outside, take a look. Here I am at Torrance Beach. Beautiful day today. And uh, take a look at the van. So it is uh, surprising. One of the things I love about this van is it's surprisingly roomy. Let me take you around to the back. So I've got uh, in the back here, I've got some uh, spare motor oil and some other stuff that I have uh, hidden away in that nice, nice little storage spot. I've got the uh, original mattress pad here. I've got uh, the, uh, a foam mattress pad, which I'll show you in a little bit. Got my pillows, got a very, very warm sleeping bag right here. Uh, my camera bag, which I keep around. I've got some storage uh, bins that I'm going to be filling up, I'm sure. I don't have all my clothes in here yet. In the back of the van, uh, it's got a lot of little storage nooks, which I really like. Here is uh, the curtain for the front window. And then back there, I've got some uh, extra towels and a little uh, shower sponge for showering. Uh, the back of the van here is essentially my shower. Uh, I'll show you this later, but I've got a shower curtain here. You can see right here that uh, hooks up to the back into these little slots there and it hangs around the, uh, the outside of the van. So there's a bit of privacy while I'm showering there. So this is, uh, I got some extra towels here as my footies, slippers. The outside of the van is all stock. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the Westphalias, you've got a refrigerator, which I'll show you in a little bit. Here's the vent for that. Uh, on the side of the vehicle, on the side of the vehicle here, you've got a uh, water fill-up slot, you've got an, a, a shore power hookup, and you've got a, a city water hookup, so you can hook up a, a hose there. So this is for filling uh, the, uh, the water tank that's inside. It's a 13-gallon tank. Down here we have the turnoffs for the LP gas. Uh, it's got a, a three-gallon propane tank included. Uh, I've done a little bit of modifications uh, to the outside. Up here I have a uh, solar panel. Give you a look here at the, uh, the, front, of the front of the van. A couple of nice comfortable captain's chairs. Through here is the front of the van. Got the top popped. I'll show you uh, in a little bit what it looks like with the top down uh, inside and outside. Uh, so I've got just the, uh, the, the cables for the solar panel uh, just coming down in through the window here. So uh, not a real professional setup there, but it works. So inside here is where I keep, got my charge, charge controller, I got my battery, and then I've got my inverter here. Kind of see it, there we go. Let me flip that around there. There's my inverter down here. Uh, the pain of this is that, uh, you know, for USB charging, I have to open the lid up uh, to do that. And then I have to open the lid up as well to uh, turn the inverter on. So a little bit, little bit of a pain, but, uh, but it's working okay. Got some uh, handy dandy toilet paper on this very nice toilet paper rack here. Uh, I'm gonna get a couple more rolls on there. This is my garbage system here. I just use uh, those uh, bags you get at Walmart and Home Depot uh, for my trash bags. Just, this top bin here, I just keep uh, some towels and some other things. I also often keep my keys in it. Uh, down below, in the second bin, 
I've got uh, another towel, but this is where I keep all of my little uh, shampoos, uh, soaps and things. I've got uh, hundreds of little bottles of uh, shampoo, conditioner, lotion, etc. that I keep right there for uh, showering purposes. Uh, I, these bins are pretty empty right now, but I, I will be filling them. I've got some stuff that I, I have in my car right now that I need to put in here. Uh, but I will have these filled up, uh, things like books and so forth. And the nice thing about the way I have this set up with these storage units on top is that these don't need to be tied down. Uh, they, they fit perfectly the way they are right in that top. And that allows me to, uh, to be able to drive around with those storage units in there without having to tie them down. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, the, uh, the, the Westie has a nice little, um, little shelf up top here where you keep lots of stuff. Up here I've got the little hat rack, got my little plant, got a, uh, a fan that's incredibly, uh, amazingly powerful for what it is that can plug into uh, the 12 volt on the van or I have another 12 volt charger that I can uh, run that with when it's hot out, but today it is very cool. Uh, I got my, my surfboard in the van right now. Uh, that's going to change. I'm hoping to get a uh, Yakima rack later where I'll be able to keep the surfboard outside. But it's really not that big of a deal to have the surfboard in here. You can see when uh, the pop top is up that uh, the surfboard fits them in there really well. Back here I've got an extra solar panel. When I'm uh, camped or parked for a while, I'll pull that out. It gets me some uh, extra wattage going into the spare battery so that I can run a lot of equipment. Um, particularly when it's really sunny and hot out, I can get both of those running and then I can run the fridge, which I'll show you in a bit. So I just keep that uh, sitting back there. It fits perfectly even with the van, uh, with the uh, top down uh, that uh, solar panel does. Uh, moving back in here to the kitchen. Uh, those of you who are not familiar with the Westphalia, I'll, uh, I'll show you the stove and the uh, sink in a little bit when I open that up, but uh, it's got this wonderful little uh, storage unit up front here. Down here, this looks amazingly small, although hopefully the GoPro gives it some credit, uh, but I have all of my kitchen supplies down here. I've got my pots, my pans, my mixing bowls, my dishes. Um, I'll, I'll maybe show you more of this in detail. I got my uh, French press, I've got all my cooking tools. If I pull this out here, back there I've got my kettle. I've got uh, dishes in this bag right here. Uh, I've got a, a glass top here. Keep my uh, olive oil, my dish soap. Down here is a little speaker, which I'll pull out, uh, pull out, maybe show you later. I've got a little lantern, but I've got, you can see here, I've got more stuff back there. It's incredibly roomy uh, um, despite its size. I actually have all of my kitchen equipment in there, which is just uh, really compact. Now, the, uh, the Westphalia comes with a Dometic refrigerator. Uh, it is, uh, you can see there, there's do the Dometic. You can see a little bit of detail on that refrigerator. Uh, this refrigerator um, runs on a battery, propane, and electric. Now, it works incredibly well on electric, and it works very well on battery but I have had trouble lighting it on propane, so I've not been able to uh, use it in propane mode, which, which is what I really need to do for uh, being able to live in here comfortably and not use up too much gas. So uh, you can see I'm not using the refrigerator right now. I've just got some uh, towels and uh, napkins in there. Uh, it even has these cute little uh, ice cube trays up top here, which I've never fully gotten frozen. I've got them partially frozen, but not fully frozen in there. Uh, but it is, it is a wonderful fridge. Down in the uh, bottom here, back towards the back seat, is an incredibly roomy, tiny little storage unit, which I use for a number of different things. You can see I have some books in there now. And then I also keep all my little uh, green propane canisters here that I use uh, when I'm out camping. And uh, I've got a, a DC outlet. A, uh, this is just a reset switch here as well. The van's got uh, more storage. If I move these uh, pillows up in the back here, uh, let me open this up here. Here we go. Uh, that I could able to store a ton of stuff down here under the bench seat. I've got this wonderful little work area here. I've got my iPad. Uh, when I able to. Uh, uh, watch movies, able to do work, uh, browse the internet when I've got an internet connection. Um, just a wonderful workspace and then uh, of course it becomes my kitchen table as well. Underneath that is even more storage. 
this is my uh, pantry. Over here, I've got another storage locker, which is just packed full. Back here is my closet. So I've got this uh, wonderful little mirror. Um, I don't have uh, all my stuff out here. I've still got some extra hanger space. Uh, I utilize this uh, thing I got at Ikea, which uh, is able to hold all of my, uh, all of my board shorts and t-shirts, which is just uh, absolutely wonderful. It's very heavy. I'm not gonna be able to pull that all out. Uh, and then underneath all that, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but I've got some uh, extra blankets down there as well. So it can hold, uh, I don't know, half a dozen more coats and jackets and things up here, plus all these board shorts. So just incredible uh, use of space in the van. I've got my carbon monoxide tester at the top. I've got a little temperature gauge over here. You can see it's a little bit chilly here in Torrance today, 68 degrees. Up here at the top of the back, um, first off, we've got a little uh, magnet collection here. So uh, I've got a couple states uh, that I've been to. Uh, hopefully to add a few more of these uh, state ones up here. I've got Las Vegas and Utah and, of course, the California. Uh, but up here is just a, a more a, is my clothes storage. So in addition to the closet, I'm able to store quite a bit of clothes up here. One of the uh, cabinets I forgot to show you when I was back here before is this lovely little storage cabinet in the back of the van. I have to kind of lift up my mattress to get back to it. Uh, but inside, uh, again, a great use of space. So I've got a couple of paper towels. I've got some uh, engine towels. So when I'm working on the engine to keep my hands clean, I've got a, a propane lantern. I've got some Frisbees. Down here, I've got a tool kit. I uh, unfolded the bed here. I probably I could have probably showed you how I do that, but it's uh, fairly quick. It takes, uh, takes less than two or three minutes to uh, fold the bed back down. Uh, but you can see, the, uh, see what it looks like with the bed. This is a, uh, a twin bed. So it's, uh, um, you know, it's, it's not like a queen size bed or anything. The, uh, the key to a comfortable night's sleep in a van is uh, getting your van level so that you're, uh, you're not rolling one way or the other. Uh, if you're parked on the side of the street, sometimes you'll be rolling towards the curb. Uh, if you're in a nice flat spot though, it's, uh, it's nice and level. Right now I'm in a very level spot. I'll give you a view from the back of the van. Just very, very, very cozy back here. <laughs> Gotta have a surf poster and what the view looks like. Uh, one of the best things about these Westphalias is being able to uh, lay in bed, whether you're up in the upper bunk or the lower bunk, and uh, be able to look outside at the stars at night. It's just absolutely beautiful. Voila, we are up in the uh, the top bunk now. Have you look outside? <laughs> A little bit bright out there, but uh, you get this wonderful view. And then uh, inside, as I mentioned, I got this other uh, solar panel back here, so I won't be able to uh, fully lay out right now. Um, but like I said, if I'm camping, uh, I pull this out, I'll hook this up and get some uh, extra watts coming through. I think, uh, by the way, my solar panels um, are 100 watts each. So I got uh, 200 watts total with them hooked up. I got a little vent and sunroof up here. Uh, it's just lovely uh, when you work, you're out camping and you can just uh, pop up here. I want to show you uh, the sink and the stove area. It's a wonderful Again, very nicely designed uh, sink and, uh, and, and stove area. Of course, you light it here. I've had no trouble with the stove. It's worked, uh, works brilliantly every time. The sink is, uh, is, is a great size sink for, uh, for van living. I'm able to clean my plates with it. Uh, turning on the water, I can actually uh, can show you the water here real quick. Turn it and voila. I uh, don't have any fruit in here, but I got a nice little uh, uh, banana hammock, fruit basket hanger. Uh, keep stuff there, paper towel rack. Uh, so those storage units that I had uh, on top of the stove and the sink area, uh, while I'm cooking, I just keep up here 
up top with the with the uh, with the surfboard there. So I have to move, shuffle things around a little bit to get things done, but uh, very doable. All right, so there you have it. That's the tour of my uh, Volkswagen van again. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you uh, are interested in keeping track of my uh, journeys and exploits on the road, be sure to subscribe and come back often. Thanks. Mahalo.